Hi guys, my name is Laura and today I'll be sharing with you guys my current beauty favourites. So if you'd like to see the products that I've been loving recently, then just keep watching. So the first product that I want to talk about is the Antipodes Amanda Antioxidant Rich Gentle Toner. So this one I really really like just to spray on my face before my makeup just to kind of like give my skin a bit of a hydration, a bit of awakening. And it's just, it's really, really nice. This is my second bottle and I just, I feel like it does good things for my skin. Like I just really, really like it. I don't really know what else to say. It's really, really good. The next product is a primer. This one is from Too Faced. This is my second bottle as well. I love this stuff so, so much. My first bottle I ran out of and I kind of was just like leaving it in my drawer to remind me to get it. And I kind of was just putting it off because it's kind of expensive. But I decided to pick up another one and oh my god, like, I don't know if you guys have ever experienced this, but like you've loved a product so much, but you haven't bought it again because of like, due to like price or you can't get it or whatever it is. And then you finally get it again and you're like, oh my god, I'm never going to be without this stuff ever. This is me with this stuff. I love it so much. It's honestly so good. It is... Did I tell you guys what it is? It's a Too Faced Hangover RX primer and it basically it's just like a moisturizing primer. I feel like it definitely increases longevity of my makeup and if you have a problem with like your makeup caking, I feel like this is a very, very good one to try. Um, if you are more oily, maybe use like a mattifying primer in the center of your face wherever you get oily and then this everywhere else. I love this so much and I could not recommend it more. If you don't know if you should get it or not, definitely get a sample from like Mecca or Sephora or wherever you get it from and you won't be sorry. Oh my god, it's so good. So if you guys know me, you know that I'm obsessed with foundation. So I do have two to show you guys. So the first one is more accessible to kind of the general public. This one is from Clinique and it's the Beyond Perfecting Foundation and Concealer 2-in-1. So I have the shades Cream Whip and I have Golden Neutral. Golden Neutral is definitely more on the fake tan side. Cream Whip I picked up because a lot of people were using it, but it really doesn't match me that well. So I always mix it with Golden Neutral, but I love this foundation so much. It's so, so good. If you get your right match, oh my God, you'll be in love. If you love like a high medium to full coverage foundation, you will love this. There is like the biggest, like the applicator is a bit like funky though. Like it's got like the biggest like doe foot applicator of your whole life, but it is so good. Like I think it's like $50 or $55, but it's really, really worth the investment, I feel, because you are getting like such a good quality product. And yeah, one bottle will last you ages. So the second foundation that I've been loving and I have it on my skin today is the Makeup Atelier Waterproof Foundation. I have mine in the shade Gilded Nude and it's FLW4Y. There are so many colors in this range and there isn't that many swatches online, but if you can get your right shade, this stuff is so bomb. You literally need half a pump and it will do your entire face. Like I have like the tiniest amount of product on my face, but it gave me such good coverage. And I just love this product so, so much. I do want to get more shades, but I wish there was just more like resources online for researching because I do have to buy mine off Beautylish, but it is so, so good. I think this is like 36 American dollars or something like that, which I don't think is too overly priced. It's definitely cheaper than like the Clinique if you buy it um, from Beautylish. And I just really, really like it. I like how it's got a pump and it's just really, really good. It looks like I've used none, but that's because like it's one of those bottles where like the product doesn't go down. It just kind of looks always full and then like one day we just have no product. But it's really, really good. It's really, really full coverage and it's very, very high quality. If you're wanting like a good high quality foundation, definitely give this a go if you can find your right shade. So the next product that I want to talk about is the Tarte Shape Tape. I feel like everybody and their mum is talking about this stuff, but with good reason. This stuff is a little bit more on the expensive side, but you definitely get a quality product out of it. You get like 10 mils of product, which I think is heaps. It's like almost double the NARS. I think the NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer, you get like six mils or something like that. This you get 10 and it's not that badly priced. I think it's like $36 on the Tarte website and they do ship to Australia. So I do think it's quite a reasonable price, especially for a high-end concealer and considering you're getting so much and you need to use so little. It's really, really good. I would highly recommend it. And if you're wanting a good high-end concealer, definitely give this one a try because it's really, really good. So for me, I don't use this product every single day, but I definitely use it on the weekends. I love this product so, so much. It is a cream contouring duo. So it's from Stila and it's the Shape and Shade Custom Contour Duo. You get 18 grams of product, so nine in each pan. And I think that's a pretty decent amount of product, to be honest. 
this is what it looks like i do have the light one and i am more on the tan side so if you are fair definitely put that into consideration um but i really really like this you get a decent size mirror like full size mirror it's really really good you get a light side which i don't really use at all to be honest i only use the contour side but the contour is just like such a beautiful creamy texture and it's just really really nice i apply it using like one of those fake real technique brushes and i just apply it to like the hollows of my cheeks i am wearing it today i really really like it it blends out really really good the color is nice and it's just a really really nice product overall and it's really good for travel too because it's really slim and you can use the mirror for when you're traveling moving on to lip products there are three lip products that i've been loving 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 and been wearing like pretty much every day the first one is from kat von d and it is the liquid lipstick in the shade mother this is literally the color that you get it's like excuse my fake tan hands but like honestly it is the most beautiful like mid-toned blue based pink that you will find like it's seriously like such a beautiful like girl next door type of pink it's really really beautiful it's not a nude but oh my god my sheep are crying not crying they're whinging whatever anyway this stuff is honestly so so beautiful it wears beautifully on the lips i must admit that it doesn't eat very well like oh my god what am i saying it doesn't last that well through eating but it is a really really nice color and i really like it I've been looking for a pink like that for a while actually and I'm finally glad that I found one. My other favorite lipsticks are from Dose of Colors. So the first one is a purple. I love purple lips, like especially like a light purple. Like I don't know why, just like my whole life I've just loved like light purple lips. This one is the shade Stone from Dose of Colors. I'll take it out of the thing. I don't want to swatch it because I don't want to botch up my fake tan, but that is the color of it there. It's like a nice like it's like a mauve, but more on the purple side. It's really, really beautiful. And then I've also really been enjoying Truffle, which is like a beigey pink, if you can see the contrast against my hair. It's such a beautiful, like, liquid lipstick. Both of these Dose of Colors ones are really, really good. I must admit that I've tried another Dose of Colors one that wasn't like a nudie, creamy color, and it literally goes everywhere. These ones are good, though. They wear really nice. For bronzer, I've been loving this one from Too Faced. It's called the Sweetheart Bronzer, and it's a baked luminous glow bronzer in the shade Sweet Tea. This is what the packaging looks like, and then like it just lifts off. I really like it. You get two colors in there, so when I'm a bit more tanned, I'll use like more of this side. Otherwise, I'll just kind of like swish them together. But it's a really, really nice, beautiful bronzer. I also have this on today, kind of like here ish it's really really beautiful it looks really really radiant and i just really like it i think you get a really really nice bronzer i must admit that you don't get a lot of product though you only get five and a half grams which i don't think is much but it is a really really beautiful product for highlighter this has literally been the only thing that i've been wearing recently this is from jouet and it's called the citron highlighter it looks like this it's what i have on my face today seriously if this is not beaming to you i don't know what is it is honestly the most beautiful like like that is it swatch there and like that is it there like seriously it is the most beautiful product ever i actually bought a second one of these because i love it so much and i don't want to be without it i love it so much like no words to describe how much i love this product and then lucky last is a eyeshadow palette now i will be so honest with you guys i didn't expect to like this palette as much as what i do um it's from zoeva i kind of just bought it for the sake of buying it i know that's so bad but i really like zoeva shadows and i really wanted to just try more of their products so i bought one of their big palettes and oh my goodness like it's literally been one of my go-to for every single day like i have it on my eyes today as well as a ColourPop eyeshadow but like I just love it so much like I love it for every day it looks like I haven't really used it because like their shadows don't have a lot of pickup which I really really like um so obviously you're getting your money's worth because it's not just flying away in the air but seriously I really like the diversity of the colors I feel like it's very on trend to do like a warm look or a purple look and just like even just a very very neutral look I love this like brown color here I use it every single day as my transition like crease color it's really really nice you've got some really nice like matte highlight shades as well and then you've got some like shimmer highlight shades it's just really really nice you have a nice orange like you've got like this beautiful like 
greeny color there it's kind of like a blue brown shift like it's so so nice like look at that that's like gorgeous and like you've got like a beautiful orange as well like seriously like just this palette is so well made it is more on the expensive side i did get mine on beauty bay like this palette from a sephora is like 75 bucks which i would not pay but i would pay like from beauty bay sorry i'm recovering from laryngitis and like my voice is just like on and off all the time but i really do like this palette i got mine off beauty bay definitely see if you can get it online somewhere else other than sephora au because sephora au it's like 75 bucks and it's like 75 dollars for what like mm. so yeah I really like this palette. I think it's really, really good. It's not $75 good, like from Sephora AU, but it's definitely really, really good. And it is one of my favorite palettes so far. Like I've been using it so often and like just looking at it, it doesn't look like it's anything special, but when I actually use it, it is so good. Like this cranberry color, oh my God, I die every time. It's so good. So yeah. So yeah, those are the products that I've been loving recently. I hope you guys enjoyed. Definitely let me know in the comments down below what you guys thought and what are your favorites at the moment because I definitely want to add a few more things to my collection. So yeah, I hope you guys are having a wonderful day. Don't forget to like and subscribe and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.